Hi, my name is Jeff with Duda Labs. I'd like to thank you for taking the time to watch our video on the Smart Radio Mesh Mode. Mesh Mode is basically the default mode for each Smart Radio as it comes to you out of the factory. Um, and the network and nodes communicate directly to or can hop through any other node in the mesh through their communication by source destination routing. Um, they, the nodes share a common configuration hierarchy, so there's no base station subscriber or access point client relationship. The relationship between these devices is all equal with uh, common configuration. The, one of the advantages of mesh is there's no single point of failure, um, the multiple routes which um, give you redundancy. Also, the network can extend beyond line of sight through, um, through intelligent routing and re rerouting. A node can hop through in another node as a repeater and basically extend the range beyond line of sight. Here are the common default mesh parameters for a device in mesh mode. Uh, the mesh ID is default simple config. The over-the-air wireless security password is Doodle Smart Radio. The channel frequency is based on model, uh, whether it's 915 megahertz, 2.4 gigahertz, etc. There's a common channel frequency. And also the channel bandwidth as of the June 2022 firmware, the channel bandwidth is set at 10 megahertz. So that's common to all nodes in, in a particular mesh. Um, you can change. Um, these are adjustable, obviously. You would reconfigure these to your unique particular deployment. I suggested that you do that. So you would change the mesh ID to that of your deployment. Uh, you change the password, security over your password. You may or may not change the center frequency. It will be dependent upon um, the conditions of your deployment and what interference may exist uh, to channel plan around that. Uh, and the channel bandwidth. You may leave it at 10 megahertz or you might want to increase it for increased throughput or decrease the channel bandwidth for increased link resiliency. Um, to do that, in the GUI, uh, you go to Network Configuration and the Simple Config menu will show you how to do that to get there. And note, uh, one note is a device in mesh mode is known as a mesh point device. And you'll also see that appear in the GUI. So um, that confirms that that node is in, in a mesh mode. We have a three node mesh here that I'll log into. Uh, it's an external device and two wearables. Uh, these are the, the IP, uh, default IP addresses of each that we'll log into. Um, as you see here, I kind of, I've also suggest renaming the host name uh, for each of the devices in, in the network to a label that corresponds to your particular deployment. You want it to be more uh, recognizable than just the MAC address, and a few reasons for that. Uh, one of which is when you get into the mesh map, the, the devices will appear, and it's much more recognizable to have a name associated with it or a mnemonic than, than just the MAC address. And to do that in the GUI, uh, you would go to Advanced Settings and then System and System, and there you can go ahead and change the host name uh, to something that's more relevant to your particular deployment. So let's log in. Okay, let's log into my external radio, 10.223.82.60. Okay, it's loaded, and as you can see here um, from the system name, I have changed uh, the mnemonic to uh, something a little more meaningful to the external radio. Uh, as, we, as we scroll down, you'll see the various uh, default configuration parameters wirelessly, the SSID, simple config, mode, mesh point, as we mentioned, uh, the cha channel frequency, etc., as indicated here, just to confirm, and then the associated stations. So um, power up the other nodes uh, automatically associated in mesh mode. These are the two wearable devices, so you can see the indication for signal to noise ratio as well as the receive transmit modulation rates here. So these, these are the basic parameters uh, that, that will be displayed in, in the overview status. Um, now, should we want to go ahead and take a look at uh, the actual um, configuration of, of the mode and any changes we might want to make? We do that basically in our simple configuration area. So go to, over here, go to Network Configuration and Simple Config. This is where we can basically make changes to any of the, uh, the modes and all the parameters within the mode. Um, don't be confused by the wireless WDS access point indication here on this particular table. 
Uh, that's just the first entry in the table that, that, that shows up. So if we drop down arrow, we can see mesh a little further down. If we click on mesh, that'll give us the default parameters that this radio is currently set up for uh, under mesh mode, which it is in. We, we verified that with mesh point. Uh, and this is where you can make these particular changes from the default settings uh, for channel bandwidth uh, and, and configure mesh ID and, and the wireless password as well. So this is the, the screen to accomplish this, and also we can make changes to the mode itself. But we'll, we'll focus on mesh mode for this particular uh, example. So now if you decide to make a change to any of these parameters, you want to change the name, let's say, uh, the mesh ID for your particular deployment, go ahead and make the change, hit apply, and then it'll, that'll apply all the settings to, uh, to your particular deployment. Uh, let's, now go ahead, let's now go ahead and log into our one of our wearable devices in the network. So here we are into the uh, overview screen of the, of the wearable device. In this case, it's the near wearable. Again, I've renamed it. Um, go down here again, uh, we see simple config, mesh point, all the key parameters, and then again the neighbor node table here that shows, um, as we have at the other, the receive levels and modulation rate. Now, in addition to this, what we can do, we can look at, we have a, a function called mesh map that allows us to kind of get a, a basic view of the relationship between the nodes and the mesh. And we'll go ahead and show you how to log into that right now. So to get to the mesh map, it's over here under status, which we are in. Uh, below overview mesh map. And this will give us uh, a simple overview of, of the nodes and the configuration. So we have three nodes and if you hover over a particular node it tells you uh, what device it is. If we scroll down a little bit further uh, we can click on a link or we hover over a link actually uh, we can see the, the receive level, the average receive level. And if you look down at the bottom of the screen here, down here in this area, you'll see a little bit more detail pop up in terms of um, the relationship, the RSSI, in relation to either of the two nodes, uh, whether it's the, the re receive level at this particular node or the adjacent node. Both are indicated here. So by hovering over any particular link, you'll get those values in any particular node, you get the definition of what that node is. So this is basically our overview screen for the mesh map. And I want to thank you again for taking the time to view our video uh, mesh mode.